Hey guys, how's it going today? I hope everyone is doing well. Today is April 10th. My phone, it's Friday, my phone has been blowing up this week. I've had probably 50 calls for work this week from new clients, people that I've never worked with before. It's been a crazy week. In today's edition of me doing what I do every day, except holding a camera in front of my face, we're gonna go and check out my, my buddy Matt from Advanced Wall Structures job sites. He's doing a couple, uh, couple decent sized boulder walls. He's got a couple machines like this, much newer, much more expensive, much nicer, much more efficient. So, what are you waiting for? Let's jump in the truck and uh, head to his site. So the other day I mentioned that if the guy's operating the tracks with his feet, you know he's probably a rookie operator. Right here you see one of Matt's guys, Mitch. While he's driving up to that pile, he is also putting the bucket out, getting ready to grab a scoop. If your hands are operating the tracks, they're not on the joysticks moving the bucket, getting ready to do it, grab a scoop. Starts there, goes down and around. I guess Matt said this wall is low enough to where they did a soil correction, and it's low enough to where they don't need any uh, any grid. Just uh, lots of sand. So in some places, Matt would put in and take out six to seven different rocks until he finally found one that he was happy with that he thought fit tight enough. Apparently he doesn't like that one.
before before I ever met you, a couple different people told me that you were uh, that you were one of the best best boulder stackers in the state. Oh yeah. And you, before I ever met you, so I'm like, oh, I got I gotta get to know this guy. <laughs> so uh, what's uh, what's a couple of the basics uh, you're looking for when you're building a, a boulder wall like this? What do you do? What do you do? What not do you do? Basics. Use big enough rocks. That's that's why I like big rocks. Make sure your machines are tinted. Yeah, make sure your machines are tinted. No, um, you just basically, well, it's just like anything else, you don't want to set yourself up for failure. So, you've got basic, I've got basic rules for building a boulder wall. back and re redo stuff. Yeah, what, what are a couple of those things? Um, well, I could show you instead of, uh, instead of sitting, in, sitting in there. So, whenever I'm setting my walls, you always have a little bit of a lean, lean back on your rocks, and you always use, you have like a nice flat face, because if you, your rocks are sloping downwards, you're gonna have problems and they're not gonna wanna stay standing. Um, I don't know, a lot of these walls are gravity walls, so that means that they've got a bunch of rock behind them that you don't see, and that's what makes them stand up for a long time. And what kind of fabric do you use? Uh, so I use uh, US Fabrics, eight ounce filter fabric. I kinda order, I order a truckload a year, and then we use a four and a half ounce filter fabric for really small stuff. But. And, uh, and when, when do you put GeoGrid and when do you not? Just whenever, uh, whenever the engineer requires that's, it. That's, GeoGrid is cheap and it's effective and I use it for the base whenever I'm not sure of something. Um, but usually like our plans call for it and we just follow the spec. But How long have you been stacking boulders? Too long. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Since I was in a sandbox, I thought I told you that. Yeah, so like, well, how many years is that? Since I was like in an actual machine, mm -hmm. I remember helping my dad. I used to just push the rocks to him and he'd build the walls. And I just kind of watch. And then when I was about 15, I hopped in there and thought I could do better. <laughs> now, now can you? I could take over. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. If you ask my dad, he'll probably say I'm better at it, but. Does he ever build walls anymore? Or do you just do the grunt work? No, he still builds walls. He does. Yeah, no, he uh, he does everything. He's irreplaceable. Exactly. I'm just I'm just good at building walls mm -hmm. pretty quick. We should Once. do that sometime. You right here, him right over there, and see if you can go the fastest. No. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna win that one every day. But, but does, he, does he ever use a camera like you got over here? Oh no, no. So how do you so how do you build them from behind then and be able to see from the front? He calls me to do it. Has me do it. <laughs> and he likes to do the ones you can see from the front. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I know when when my dad's building boulder walls, I get him the best shape rocks, mm -hmm. the nice big chunky ones. That definitely makes a big difference. Yep. So I, I set him up for success. Get some mm -hmm. nice rocks, some good material. Mm -hmm. So so what do you got going here? What's this one like? How tall is this going to be? How long is it? Uh, I'd have to look at my plan, but it's about 200 feet long. The tallest part's 11 feet over there. It's just, this wall's gonna hold up a cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. um, obviously they're gonna build more of those. 
along here eventually. So, okay. yeah. so this one's 200 by 11 in the tallest. Like roughly, how long does this one take you? Well, we started Tuesday, and I'd say over half the half of it's in. But I mean, we started Tuesday. We had to dig out. Spent the whole day digging out. Okay. Started base. What kind of base do you use, and how much did you use here? Uh, base is just the side. We usually use like five, six footers for base. Mm. I like big rocks, mm. so they don't move. Bigger the better, right? Yeah, and I mean, if you use really big rocks, you set 30 square feet at a time. amount of rocks it takes to get to the end the faster you can do it so yeah, you can usually get paid by the square foot right yep paid by the square foot so if you put a lot of square feet in you make more money yeah but what's your uh, what's your best day what's the most square foot you've done in a day oh geez if we're doing a long wall and i'm sitting from the front where i can see the face i can do 1500 square feet but that's a really good day. That's if you're set up perfect, you can do that. But if you can average four or five hundred square feet a day, you're doing pretty good. So. Block walls, you try to do it at least two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's fun stuff. Is there anything else you'd rather be doing? <laughs> Maybe no, no. I've got my hobbies that I like, but I like building boulder walls. What are your uh, What are your hobbies? What are you doing when you're not at work? <laughs> you know what I do when I'm not at work. <laughs> I know, but these guys don't. Uh, my hobbies are like Bitcoin, I like trucks too, but now I spend all my money buying more Bitcoin and stuff like that. <laughs> Next two years, pay attention. It might be the best advice someone's ever given you, I don't know. <laughs> well, at least I have skin in the game, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, I always hate when people, it's like listening to a fat fitness trainer. It's like, pretty hard to believe them. Yeah. Listen to them. Yeah, well... I got or Bitcoin. If you ever want to pay me for a retaining wall in Bitcoin, call me. Let me know. I'll give you a discount. There you go. <laughs> well, thanks for having me me today. I appreciate it. Yeah, you can come out anytime. I should have I should have had you when you were in the machine. I should have taken the camera, but I don't want to turn it on. Yeah, maybe next time. Yeah, definitely. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you would share this video with someone you think would enjoy watching it. Remember, in order to get results no one else is getting, you must do things no one else is doing.